thank you all so much for stopping by today. So y'all, before we even begin, I've got to say this. I would like to thank all of the people who work outside on a daily basis. Like, I'm gonna tell you where this is coming from. So today I had to do a run to the farmer's market because I wanted to pick up some things um, for our juices for the week. And there's a lot of construction going on and a lot of people working outside. And I said to myself, call me a team player or not, but with the last few days being the heat index well over 100, I probably would have called out straight up. Like I probably would have looked at the weather app and say, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not working outside today. Enough is enough. It literally feels like an oven out here. And I don't know what has changed because y'all know when I stayed in Savannah, like I would be outside all day. I would have to tell myself it's time to go inside. Um, I just made sure I stay hydrated, but it's a, it's a different feeling here. And I'm just like, what is really going on? I think by staying by the coast, you at least get like a little breeze. I'm not sure. It's hot. But let me tell you what this video is about. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Okay, y'all. So really quickly, we've decided um, and y'all helped me decide that we're going to start going live on Sundays, I put out two different times, but most of the people that responded um, like 6 p.m. a little bit better. And so the purpose of me going live is to be able to share with you what's going on in the garden, as well as go over some of the garden chores that I personally would like to get accomplished for the week. And I'm looking down because my poor rosemary and lavender um, is, is taking a hit like a lot of things in the garden. I'm so sick of these leaf-footed bugs, y'all. Look at this. So sick of them. Y'all, this is our third pest in the garden that is really just trying me up, seriously. Um, the leaf-footed bugs. And they're focusing on the tomatoes. But, okay, let's get back to what's really supposed to be at hand. Okay, so hopefully we will get some relief this week. Now they said it's supposed to rain and they had it like all day or all week this week. 15, 35, 25% chance of rain. Um, most of the time that means about five or six drops. I think I just felt a couple of drops on me now, but I'm, I'm not even letting that, I'm not even letting that take me in the house. Um, however, um, I wanna share with you that I did not get what I was supposed to get done, done. And if you can see in the back of me, I started, but I didn't get it done. So let's go over what I said the previous week. I gave myself five things because normally I'll write down 10, 15 things. And I'm like, now you know you done went too far. Let's be reasonable here. So I tried to be reasonable last week, but this is what I'm gonna tell y'all. The heat index, work, and like a couple of days. So it was maybe two days I stayed out here a really long time. And I don't know if that gave me like a headache, but um, I, I always try to push through. But I normally don't have headaches, but I just had like a slight headache for like a couple of days. And I was like, you know what? Uh-uh. Let me just go inside and be thankful for the air. That, that's, that's really what I did. And I would just go come outside to really try to water the essential things. Um, and I would get out here maybe about six o'clock in the morning and try to do it. So let's talk about the five things. Let's talk about did I complete it, which you already can see, not quite. But then let's talk about what we want to accomplish this week as well going forward. Do y'all hear them? It's some baby birds that have possibly hatched. Now, I'm not finna get up here and bother them, but what I don't like is it's right outside the door. So oftentimes when the parents hear the door, it's like they fly over my head. And I don't like that. They're really smart already because they were just chirping, so they're being quiet. 
because they hear humans, evidently. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's talk about our five choices. As we walk here, y'all, I had to go and get my notebook because I, I knew four, but I'm like, what am I missing? So I did okay, but I didn't make the goal, okay? Um, and let me tell y'all, it's been so hot, seriously, that I have filled this bird feeder up and washed it. I don't know how many times, but that's how hot it is. Like whatever the birds don't drink, the rest evaporates. So this is our pollinator garden right here. And I will make sure that I um, put the link where we created it. Everything uh, seems to be growing really good. I've lost one black and blue salvia. It looks like I'm gonna lose another, um, another one of these right here. Y'all, where is my mind at today? So I think I've lost one right here. And, um, well not right here, but it looks like I've lost, or I'm about to lose one like right here. It's, it's hanging on slowly but surely. The crepe myrtle that Chris uh, cut down, this is still in full effect because I'm gonna have to come in uh, with my pruners and get this one right here. Already, and I'm out here in shorts, so I'm not gonna be long. Mosquito just bit me. But right here, I'm gonna have to just keep this cut um, and then I'm just gonna put some more, some more mulch on here. But the main, one of the goals that we had to do was to fill the bird feeders. And at first, y'all, maybe because I kept looking at them, at first I filled this up and I was like, why are no birds coming over here? Like, I just don't get it. But evidently they have found where the food is um, because I filled this up to the top. They found where the food is. The only thing I wanna get now, now the hummingbird, cause I'm looking at one like right now as I'm talking, um and they're finding their own nectar but i do want to put maybe a hummingbird feeder and i looked for one today like a glass one um maybe on this hook right here but again maybe they found it and i'm glad that i did get this no melt um the no melt one right here just because with the heat i know that was gonna be like a total mess but i'm glad to see that they found them um, and I do have to feed, um, fill up their water. And what I do is I come in once a week um, and I wash it out real good. I have a brush, I wash it out and just make sure that it's as clean as I can get it. So let's get back to the matter at hand and then we're gonna keep going. And then I'm gonna tell you what's on my list for this week, okay? Because now I've put on more things and they have just gotten doubled because I did not fulfill what I was supposed to fulfill um, last week. So back to the Armenian cucumbers. I'm letting them do whatever they want to. You want to you want to go this way. You go whatever way you want to because y'all are resilient from the snails. But I've been seeing so many bees and pollinators on here, and so I'm like, okay, all right, y'all. When are the cucumbers about to get ready? to come you know i've just been waiting for them like it's enough flowers is enough um everything around being pollinated somebody tell me when are the cucumbers gonna come so i start talking bad about them but i came out um okay and then oh okay i'm not gonna say it i, I thought i heard a little thunder okay but i came out yesterday and i'm looking because it's all over like i'm letting it trail if it wants to trail over here by the flocks i'm letting it do that um they just have a special place in my heart but i'm like where are my cucumbers at because i just came um i was in the produce looking for some ginger and i was looking at uh some cucumbers and i'm like what is going on why are these these cucumbers in the produce section looking like that but guess what, y'all? We're growing cucumbers. So I was like, good thing I don't have to worry about that. Now, I'm not doing that to be funny, but it just feels good when you're growing stuff and you look at the quality of what's available and you're like, good thing I don't have to buy that. But I just looked yesterday. And so do y'all see it? So we got Armenian cucumbers that are starting to grow. And so now I'm starting to see, y'all look right here, where we're starting to get um, cucumbers, but a lot of flowers. Now, I hope it doesn't choke the pepper out, 
um right here but if it does i'm telling y'all this this these cucumbers can do whatever they want to now i'm slowly but surely waiting on look at this big tomato right here i'm waiting on this one like i've been waiting and waiting for it to um just go ahead and ripen and i think this is the pineapple tomato i want to say okay I, I gotta I gotta I really have to do better but a lot of things are ripening and so let's talk about what you will not see now that I did I at least got this done um, and I think I did a video maybe put it out I didn't sanitize them but the purpose of the live last week was to make sure that y'all did not see it again when I did another video because I was like this is not a plant holding stand now I had weeding on my list and I hope that I meant these beds right here because I did weed these and I did um, go ahead and replace a couple of plants and did this area. I also deadheaded, although it, I need to go in and deadhead again, but I'm going to say this is done um, because also let me walk over here. I did, this area needed to be weeded too. And so I weeded this area as well, although more grass is creeping in. Um, what I'm really, I just ordered some milky spores and I'll give y'all, um, once they come in, I'll let you know how I'm going to treat the Japanese beetles because what I am um, just a little bit pissed about is y'all know I like to use roses in a lot of things, whether it be for my teas, whether it be for rose toner, just a lot of different things. And so I see that there are some roses that are starting to come on, but the Japanese beetles won't let me have it because they continue to just come in and eat the petals up. And I have knocked them in water. I gotta go get my water again and they're, you know, just all over the place. So I haven't been able to enjoy the roses, but I do need to come in just a little bit again, just a little bit. And um, I promise y'all last week, um, I weeded this whole area, but I see grass is growing and guess what's growing again. We got the spearmint growing again, but I'm actually starting to dry that and use that in a lot of our tea blends. You have to look at the positive of it all so that's what i'm doing with the spearmint i'm like you know what just keep growing i'm gonna keep drying and i'm gonna keep pulling you um and so that will be good so i'm going to say that yes i did accomplish the whole weeding of whatever i was talking about because i did deadhead um phase two of the garden i did the in ground portion um and so i'm thinking that that is complete i'm gonna say it's complete because i got a whole new list so make sure you stay tuned to the end and if you're not subscribed go ahead and hit the subscribe button because i want to share with y'all what i have planned for this week now over here is what i fell short with i've started but again a couple setbacks but it's okay um, I have started making the video. Now, I promise y'all, I watered this this morning and we are not about to lose this butterfly bush. Why is it doing this? Like, I promise y'all, I watered it because I watered this one over here. And it's a lot of things are looking really crunchy. Now, I am aware of the smaller the pot, the more you have to water it. But I promise y'all, when I left out this morning, I said, let me go ahead and water these plants right here because um i gotta get this done and i gotta get these in the ground and it want to look crunchy like this but however i got, i'm starting to get things placed i'm getting things placed but i'm having a couple of dilemmas because of the growing requirements and and the height requirements not necessarily the width but the height and i talked about this um once i get done i'm making a video about this so you'll see the full video but i'm trying to place everything because this rose plant right here and this butterfly bush i'm not sure how i want to place it because the the height is a broad height so 
let me let me show you what I'm talking about. So on the butterfly bush, I'm going to show you all this one because this one has really disappointed me over here and it better come back. Um, you see how the maturity height is 20 to 28. OK, and then this maturity height is uh, height one and a half, 12. Oh, never mind. Never mind, y'all. So I'm going to put this in the front. Okay, and the last thing that I did not get accomplished was actually starting the seeds. So I've started to pull the seeds out. And what I'm looking for is a some seeds that have a quick date to maturity. So I've pulled out one more um, cucumber that we have, uh, some seeds for that. I've pulled out a couple of flowers that we have. Now I'm looking for some tomatoes that has a shorter date to maturity. And so if I can get those just, what I'm gonna do y'all, because I wanna have control over, I really wanna have control over um, the watering. So I'm not going to direct sow them. So that means that basically I'm not going to place them where I want them to go. I'm going to put them in the cell trays, but I am going to start them outside here because it's enough heat and it's enough humidity and it's enough daytime hours. So I'm going to start them out here, but in cell trays. And then by the time some of these determinant tomatoes, um, like this Italian Rosa tomato, like once they finish up, because remember the determinant tomatoes put everything on at once and then they'll be done. Then I can start popping, um, some of the other plants in here. And that is how we're going to do with that. The, I do want to plant one more or maybe a couple of more, um, uh, bell pepper plants y'all don't worry about the leaves this is how a lot of the plants do but in the evening when it cools back down they perk back up this is their way of like conserving the moisture because i know this bed is watered because this is on irrigation and i have been watering it and i'm hoping that soon a whole bunch of rain will just start just just coming down just just come down on me just come down please <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about, I'm not going to put a lot on myself this week. Let's talk about the main thing. I think this is a big thing that I can get accomplished because remember y'all, now that I did not do what I was supposed to do last week, so the tasks have doubled. So I still need to finish this. I still need to plant my seeds, but this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to step back because things are looking hot. My goal is to get this patio right. It's not right and I'm gonna tell you why I want to get it right so we got some things all over the place since I don't have my greenhouse yet this has became a planting station this has became a holding station this has became a lot of different things but the reason why I really want to work on this um, is because I am noticing a lot of the websites a lot of the garden centers they're starting to put their patio furniture on clearance and i've shared with y'all that this set was left here when we were here but it's not the set that i want now i may put this out where the herb garden is just to have a seating area out there but what i ultimately want in this area is a place where Chris and I can come out here and it's kind of like a patio set, but it has like the ottoman to go with it, you know, so we can just kind of stretch our legs. Or if I want to come out here and read once it gets cooler, or if I just want to sit out here and look at the beauty of the garden, um, I'm able to do that, which means that I keep telling myself, and let me tell y'all really quick. So yesterday, I, the reason why I didn't go live is because I really wanted to get some things off to Goodwill. And so I'm like, you keep playing these games and you could do it. So I will get things ready for Goodwill and then I'll start going back through it. And I was like, nope, 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 nope. Let's go to Goodwill right now. I have thought about it and thought about it. So I got one of these um, containers 
on the front porch, which is fine, but I got two left and I'm like, they don't go with what you're trying to do. Let somebody else have them that are able to use it. Um, this table right here, I'm going to paint black um, as well, like I've done the other one that we have on, on the front. So it was two of these that were left. I spray painted one black and put it on the front for a table. Um, and so I'm going to do that again, but I'm looking for that perfect patio um, set. And I've seen some today, but I'm like, you have got to get this area cleaned off so that when you do find it and you do like it, all you have to do is just come in and set it up and place it. So I only have three, I say major things to do this week. Yes, I still need to do a little tidying up, but I think I'm gonna move that to next week. I also wanna plant some more seeds because um, I'm just not pleased with these hanging baskets right here, none of them. Um, these started out okay. We had a few of the um, bud worms kind of come in. It seems like they wanna come back, but they're really sparse. These got leggy, I clipped them back. So I also wanna just find some flowers, whether it be from seed or whether I pick them up on clearance, uh, that I can redo these hanging baskets. Not really pleased with those. Um, I have to find somewhere for this lavender to go and just really kind of straighten up this area. Um, right here, I was gonna also repot this lemon balm. This is, I have lemon balm in the herb garden, but this is like the first one that I get to when I come out and I wanna make like a herbal tea for the night. Like I'll pick off of this one first. Um, so I'm just gonna step back and we're gonna get this all cleaned up. So I want y'all to see it now because by next Sunday, a lot of this stuff is going to be, it's gonna be gone. Now I may still just keep I am gonna keep this patio set. I may not have the patio set by Sunday, but I still want it to be clean here so that when I get ready to bring it in, we just take it out the box and redo it. And it's not that bad. I just have to do another Goodwill run. That's really what's gonna happen. And these are the planters that I'm gonna to use to start my fall uh, plants and vegetables and flowers and herbs and then i'm just going to put up like all of this stuff and just really just let it go y'all sometimes you just got to close your eyes and you got to let it go which is what i did yesterday and i'm going to be done because also i mean while i'm looking i want to get another porch light um i've been seeing some of those on clearance as well so i just really want to spruce this area up i got another rug that can go out just a whole bunch of things so Let's go over and recap what our main goals are for this week. So we're going to go ahead, start our seeds. I, I don't have any more time. I've been playing around. I don't have time. I'm going to start the seeds. Um, I'm just going to plant some flowers, vegetables, herbs. Make sure you subscribe because I'll keep you posted. And I'm going to make sure, y'all, that I label. I, I, got, I really got to do better about that. Number two, we're going to get the patio together we're going to clean this off we're going to get rid of the pots that we're not going to use i don't want it very cluttery up here because it's not a very big patio so i just want to when i see a patio set put the patio set up here have my patio planters um my planter right here and then we're just gonna let the other do i do i am going to put this as part of it by uh painting or spray painting this table black and so i'll move it i'll move it somewhere but we just want to get all of this clutter out of the way so we're also going to finish up this area it's not going to take long i just got to go ahead and make a choice of what i want in here and just let it be done and so i've already started i've already outlined it so we're going to get that done but i got a bonus y'all i'm going to do a bonus that i just saw something and we're going to leave it alone and we're gonna let this do. I don't know if I talked about this in the last video, but the bonus is, okay, I gotta move this rain barrel. The rain barrel is actually supposed to go over on the end of this workshop. Uh, Chris already said he's not cutting the gutters um, and he doesn't think it's a good idea for the rain to go off the asphalt roof and in there. He said he's not cutting it. 
so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna put it like by it's, it's a little small fence right here i'm just gonna put it by the fence and we just gonna let that we just gonna let it do because i told y'all before um after 30 something years sometimes you just gotta pick your battles okay and i'm not going to go back and forth with these mosquitoes nor am i going to go back and forth um about you know cutting uh cutting the gutters and letting when it rains go into my rain barrel it should be enough rain because i got rain in there rain water now that when it rains good i'll have rain water in there but it would be great if it can just come off there but we're, we're not gonna do that so that is the bonus right there okay you all so i'm gonna go back in because i keep seeing a lot of things that need to be done out here in the garden but i am in shorts today and i've know i have been bit at least about three or four times y'all heard me hitting myself um with the mosquitoes because i'm not out here in the right way and y'all know whatever the mystery or invisible bug is so let me get in before that but those are the are the three plus bonus things that i want to do so i just want to recap real quick i have got to get those seeds started i have got to finish um this rose area i'm going to clean off this patio and bonus i am going to move the rain barrel and so i think that is enough to keep me occupied this week again it is our intention to go every sunday live at 6 p.m just to kind of go over if I accomplished it, if I didn't, and then what's on the agenda for like the upcoming week. Okay, so as always, thank you all so much for watching this video. Make sure you share this video with your family and your friends. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead, tap the subscribe button. Make sure you tap the bell. I'm listening at the birds. Make sure you tap the bell so that you can receive notification each and every time we upload a new video. Again, thank you all so, so much for watching. And until the next video, bye-bye. They're really smart. Like the closer I got, Oh, maybe not. Do y'all hear them? They're little baby birds and they've dropped some of their bird nesting. So they'll probably slide the coop later. Okay, y'all. Bye-bye.